morning dominoes and a pint at the Rainbow's End. Yet this pub is at a care home in Brig. It's just one of the ideas that's allowed relatives to easily visit loved ones here throughout the pandemic. A lot of our families and relatives and residents used to go into Brig to the pubs. So we thought the best thing for us to do would be to build a pub. You can see other people and have a chat. Makes all the difference. So. My son, he comes, takes me out. They're going out this afternoon. Eh? Those visiting, like Maggie, say seeing her mum regularly has allowed a normal relationship to continue. I come as often as I want to. It's really important for me to keep in touch with mum and to know that she's, she's well and that she's looked after and that she has everything she needs so I can come and sit with her and spend time with her. But it's not the same everywhere. Alison's 77-year-old husband is in an East Riding care home, but she's only allowed a one-hour visit a week in a special room. That and Covid outbreaks mean she's only been able to visit him four times since December. Because he hasn't had that constant reminder of me, he's forgotten me. You feel as though you're coming up against red tape, rules and regulations, and I'm sure the care at home are doing the, the level best. I just want to be able to see him more, see if I can rebuild the relationship. New government guidance this month now says there shouldn't be any restrictions on visits, but campaign groups say some care homes are making life far too difficult. I don't understand why care homes are still, uh, still making these rules, um, making, a, making people make appointments, uh, telling people they can only stay for 30 minutes. I don't know who has to get a grip of it, but somebody needs to. Is there any reason now, in your view, for care homes to be keeping residents away from their families? No, not really. I think, you know, you have to weigh up the pros and the cons. People in the community are living normal lives and things, so maybe, you know, it's time now to move on with care homes as well and to let them live a normal life. Just under there, look. There's confidence that relaxed visiting has improved the quality of life for those living here and their relatives. Philip Norton, BBC Look North, Brig. Cheers.